Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Drama Free Gaming. It is what it says and it says what it is. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at around the world. This is end time and I'm just here back on a Wednesday evening. It is uh, November 12, 2019 and just taking some time to hang out and chill and play some more Moonlighter. So sit back, relax. And uh, we'll see what we get into today, whether we just do some gameplay or maybe chat or or maybe both. We'll see. Before I go sell anything, I'm gonna find out if uh, I can craft first. My money's looking really low. Just realized that 746 gold coins. saved my game yesterday or not and one way to find out and I think I probably did play and <laughs> that'd be kind of messed up if I didn't save if I got all my potions in my chest that means I didn't save and I'm back to kind of like the same status when we first started yesterday let's see oh there goes my potions really can't tell to be honest uh, well, that was kind of cool nice animation should be able to stack five yeah I'm gonna go prepared I'm gonna have like ten of these today just so that I can um, put this away. Actually, I'm gonna need to sell some stuff. I'm gonna sell this stuff, whatever it is. Hardened steel, it's probably for weapons and stuff like that. Yeah, and I haven't marked with a star, so that means that I need to leave it. Even though I got some more of it here. So there's one item see how much I can get and what else do I have I got a bunch of this as well why not I need to build up some funds these water spears I got some in my inventory as well why I sold them for dirt cheap the last time. Can't do that again. Gotta build up this cash. Let's see how much this two go for. I put them at 100 and I think that was like a steal. So let's go to 150. This goes for 170. So you want to be one way to find out. Gotta make some loot. I'd be surprised if any of this stuff sells. Oop. Too hot. Too high. Let's bring it up to 
bring this down to 150. Same for this. Still too high. Hmm. Just not doing well with these prizes. The prices, I should say. 140. 140. 140. Come on, you guys gotta understand. I need to make some money. Okay, the old lady took it. Took the bait. Let's go. Okay, still grabbed it. Still too high. had a good day today uh, I woke up with a sense of purpose this morning and not to say that I don't but uh, you know have you ever had those mornings where you just you know you didn't think the night before about what you was going to really do the next day uh, but I actually took some time uh, I think it was it was Monday actually and um, went ahead and ironed out all my clothes now i don't have a ton of clothes but i ironed out all my clothes my pants my shirts had them laid out and i was also thinking about some of this uh painting that i had to do in my house and i just told myself okay you're just gonna get up and get to it it's still too high really? And so yeah, so I woke up this morning and got in the shower, got to the painting, put in about two and a half, three hours of painting, uh, little by little, little by little, uh, and got a section of painting done, and I was good to go. Oh, how many can we put in here? And it felt really good, you know, because I went to work knowing that I had knocked that out. And so tomorrow I go back and work on another section and giving myself kind of like a 16 day uh, countdown, which is actually, I believe, the amount of time between now and uh, Thanksgiving. So I definitely want to have it done before then. <clears throat> but, you know, task can seem overwhelming when you try to knock it all out in one shot so kind of like try to pace myself and say okay i want to have enough time to you know do some gaming have enough time to get to you know these tasks like painting and taking things taking care of things around the house and exercising etc etc so you know that really worked out really well Oh, I can't get healed. 
I always forget I can't heal the uh, excess. Five uh, hit points if you fall down into the pit. Okay, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. mark artifacts remain hidden while currently in dungeon nice see this is gonna tempt me to leave the dungeon now because i don't want to lose it uh quick move and let's see what else what is this some more hardened steel destroys nah man i don't think i want that golden ruins is gonna destroy something Let's see, where can we put it that it'll destroy? Or I can just melt it. And now if I put it in there, see it's a mirror that turns items into small amount of gold. So I don't want these cursed items to destroy my stuff. I'm just gonna put it in here. It's a good idea. Convert it to gold, and then we'll be on our way. Uh, so I got an artifact. I gotta be careful. I don't want to die. I know some of you guys are probably like, yo, man, you should have went in. Nothing ventured, everything lost. That's the problem. Healing pool. And then that's probably like the boss man in there. I'm going to be a chicken this time and I'm going to leave. Just so that I can figure out what that, um, that item is with the question mark. by little um, I think everything in uh, in moderation if you're doing it for the right reasons and it's healthy most definitely uh, little by little and just a sense of satisfaction was just 
amazing to be honest just to be able to get to it and see it coming to fruition is well worth it what what was that question mark thing oh it's like a totem is it a golem volume hmm might be something of interest to someone or maybe even myself a little bit later on in the game price is a little higher yeah why not Let's see. Come on, let's make that money. And glasses, they move. Price that at 120. How about 115? Maybe put some more stuff out here. I don't even know why I bother with the root. I like these sticks. Oh, what did I do? This for me guys is my uh, favorite time of the year. Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas. Once Christmas is, is here and it's done, I'm done. <laughs> I can care less for uh, New Year's. But I'm good with Thanksgiving and Christmas. I can, I can do that. Alright, let's close it out. I just like you know the atmosphere and it's good to have you know my kids back from school and, and overall it's just it's just a good time hopefully you guys are looking forward to the uh, holidays as well I mean the holidays are upon us and and I don't mean the uh, you know the marketing and the merchandise that's out there I mean there's so much even like early like September I was seeing um, Halloween, Thanksgiving stuff, and, and, and signs of Christmas stuff. It was just crazy. Oh, I can do an iron helmet? Okay. Let me see what else. And I can craft. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to craft that. So let's do the iron helmet for now. I don't have enough gold. How much is it? Four thousand. Wow, dude, that's highway robbery, bro. All right, I gotta go venture and then come back to get the helmet. It, this game is a grind, I'm telling you, but it's so it's so chill. Um, you know, you you don't mind doing it. There's other dungeons I haven't opened them yet, so. Uh, but I can see how it can take some time you going out grinding coming back and repeating that process Stay back I think this, the, the spear has been the clutch Here, aren't you? Ah, get out the way, bro. 
how the screen is like warping and stuff that's happening in the game that's not my screen or anything like that so I'm just looking to see if there's look at those two little beady eyes down there I guess there has to be some sort of uh, maybe spell or something I have no idea what to do there. fluid what can I get rid of the glasses always sell I mean they're 
question marks might be something good more of those volumes let's let's get rid of this if you guys haven't checked out moonlighter it is on uh, xbox game pass ultimate um, i always cheerlead that service because it is amazing i don't think there's another service out there uh for gaming that even compares i'll be honest i it's, it's really hard for me to purchase a a game now knowing that i can go into game pass and and you know and, and play from over a hundred games it's just great Hello, just want to read. I read this one before. There's these books that are like all over this dungeon and I guess they piece a story together. I've read this one numerous times. I haven't gone into the dungeon any deeper, so. crazy i was hearing like a dripping of water or something in my head and i forgot i had the headphones on okay i'm here for the what and why i think i pretty much searched this entire area have i gone down Out of loot means I should leave. <laughs> I'm always, I'm always playing on the caution, on the cautious side, I should say. Uh, I am gonna leave because I want to get that uh, helmet. Should be have, I should have enough money to do so. So, and then I'll venture in a little bit deeper. Sell the stuff first. Oh, I was like three broken swords. You gotta be kidding me. Life liquid. So yeah, this game is also on the Switch. I think I've mentioned that before. And I was going to pick it up on the Switch. But as I was saying before, once I saw that it came to Xbox, uh, Game Pass, Ultimate. I said, yeah, I got to play this game. And I'm playing it on the PC side. So I'm having a lot of fun with it. taking the glasses come on i think i only hiked it by five coins okay there we go 
change the price on this. What did I? Hmm. I'm willing to go down to 115, but that's about it. Actually, let me see if I put some more items out here. This other broken sword. 75. If you didn't get it before, you better get it now. And what else? Gold ruins. I haven't really dug into this game to, um, you know, start advancing my character. Uh, I'm gonna have to do that here. Maybe I get an opportunity. Uh, this weekend and jump into it that is of course if I'm done with my uh, painting <laughs> here in my house getting things ready for Thanksgiving oh wow look at this dude no it's a steal isn't it yeah I don't mind jipping me right Closing shop. Let's go save it. I'll go to the smithy, find out what's if I can uh, craft, which I should be able to get that helmet. gives me plus 40 health so that's going to help me venture even deeper into the uh, into the dungeon Ooh, all I need is wow Some cloth oh I can get this one can I but I'm still gonna need like another 4,000 that's crazy Plus 30. This is actually the one I, sh I want. Yep, plus 30 minus 8. Or plus 8. That is just nuts. So every item uh, boots, chest plate, helmet is 4 G's. That's crazy. Alright, well, at least we could, uh, Equip one thing. What am I doing? Hit the wrong button. Alright, so 140 health. And my attack, my speed, and my defense are still the same. So, it's okay. It's all good. I should open the store and sell some more of these items. I wonder how much this book will go for. <clears throat> and I've yet to get. Here's the fabric. This is what I needed to. Uh... Let me just put one up here. I think what I carry on my person, <clears throat> I don't lose, but what? I uh, carry in my bag, that's what I do lose. I put some of this stuff away in my private stash. Oops. Alright. I think I'll sell those city water spears. Of these what is this teeth stone I'm gonna sell all of these I'm just gonna keep 10 for good measure
I've had enough of these. I'm gonna sell that as well. Fabric. Right, is everything there good for me to sell? Yup, yup, yup. That is steel. I'll keep the steel for weapons. Iron bar. Sell that. Got ten in the inventory. Put that there. Keep that one there. And I think we're good to go. I'm gonna sell the rest of this stuff. I don't know what that is, but I got two of them. Start one off at one. Let's see, 150. Let's see what that's all about. Wow, at five a piece? That's it? Let's try ten. I thought those went for more. These go for, these can go for 35 now. This is a nice, chill, mellow game. <clears throat> I know, Jay, if you're watching this, shout out to you, brother. Love you, miss you. Definitely gonna get back on uh, Monster Hunter, but as you can see, I've been having lots of fun with uh, just a bunch of other games. And really just been chilling, not trying to get involved in anything too deep. Had some fun with the Division 2 not too long ago and planning on going back. And I love what they've done as far as uh, the updates and whatnot. So, should go check it out. You know, sometimes you just have to leave a game for a little while let it go through its paces and like especially nowadays you got games that are coming out and you know people have made the comment before but we're like the live beta testers you know game comes out incomplete or it doesn't sell like you know it was supposed to sell or at the expectations of you know the people who made it but you know all that aside <clears throat> uh, the reality is sometimes you just gotta sit back and l see what a game is gonna become um, if the company's gonna continue working on it the developer and then come back to it later and you might be surprised it might be just that much better of an experience I've yet to go back to Anthem yes I did say Anthem um, but I want to and I have not even kept up any news. I haven't kept up with any news. I don't even know if there's any news out on it, to be honest. Um, if there's been any changes and whatnot. But, you know, all, all of that said, um, when Anthem came out, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, played it, got my fill, went through the story, and then just put it down. And I haven't touched it since. But it's a game that I still have installed on my Xbox, believe it or not. And will I go back to it and play? Why not? I would love to do that. Uh, but what makes that difficult also, and, and maybe, you know, game developers out there, I don't know if you listen to some jibber jabber from an old man, <laughs> uh, AKA me and time. Um, you know, there's so many games that come out that you don't have the luxury of your game not doing well and you not immediately patching it or supporting it because the backlog that us gamers, um, you know, us who game, we have a backlog. I have a backlog and there's games that I know I want to play and I haven't gotten to. 
Honestly, because there's just not enough time. And other games come out to catch my fancy, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna play that. And that's just the reality of it. It's not knocking any game or anything like that. It's just like, if your game doesn't grab my attention quickly and keeps my attention, um, Yeah, I don't know. I mean, am I saying anything that makes any sense? Some of you might disagree with me. Some of you might be like, nah, man, that's that's just not how it works. But, you know, I know that there's some gamers that are loyal to certain titles, um, you know, certain franchises, and that's all fine and dandy. But I'm just talking about, you know, run-of-the-mill games. You know, you come out with a game and you want people to play it, make sure that game is, is up and running. Um, and if you gotta patch it, patch it, be quick about it, uh, but you know, don't over promise and under deliver is it, is that, is that the way that goes? give you an example like I bought Assassin's Creed Odyssey I have it in my library have never touched it I bought it on a deep discount I didn't get it day one um, there was just other games that I was playing looking forward to didn't have the loot um, I love Assassin's Creed Origins I put some time into that game um, but I still have it in my backlog and do I want to play it? Of course I want to play it. Am I going to play it? Yes, I'm going to play it eventually. <laughs> but, you know, I think the point is made with the reality, again, that there is a backlog. We all have a backlog. And then Game Pass Ultimate. Well, you know, when you have access to games at your fingertips, that you can just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, that, that doesn't better the situation. It just doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I think it's a good problem to have. But, uh, you know. That's just the reality. Let's see, what else do I want to melt down? Let's melt down some of these sticks. They just gave me five for that. Wow, that's messed up. So yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe you agree, maybe you disagree with me, but you know, that's, that's my reality. And I, I know that I'm not the only one in that situation.
Man, the difference that a helmet does. I've been able to stay in the dungeon a little bit longer. Have I covered the entire dungeon already? Looks that way. time I covered the entire dungeon. Wow, and just one... Just one item has increased my uh, defense to such an extent. So, so here's a pro tip. If you can acquire and amass enough gold and the materials, get at least one item, helmet, Whatever it is that you get, they're all worth the same, pretty much. Uh, so that extends your stay. I think I'm going into the uh, second level. This is where I haven't explored. Golem Dungeon 2. Here we go. Monsters are much tougher here. That's for sure. Ah, these question mark things again. I know I should pay them attention. Break down some of this stuff here. And it's three of them. <laughs> uh, I'm not willing to break anything else down. Come on. I guess I can get rid of two of these. I got five in the bag. Three and four, look at this. Can I stack them? Okay, did it stack? I'm not too sure. Oh no, it just switched places. Yeah, they each take up a spot, so... I know I got enough of these back at the house. I want to keep exploring. I think I'm gonna leave that one there. Look at this little nook here in the wall, like it has books and stuff. That's pretty cool. Jelly is what I need to make uh, potions. That's cool. And I notice they're putting more uh, indestructible things in the way so that. Alright. With all this loot and I'm still in here. Unbelievable. You know what? I think I'm gonna skedaddle. Or let's see what the inventory. What can I break down? What can I melt down that I won't suffer as much? I'm still technically making money, so... Not as much as, as if I sold it, but... Let me leave the slot open. What did I do with that? Here, please. What are you doing? Right there. All right, got a couple of slots open. Is there anything in there that I want to save just in case? Can I put these up here? Yeah, I'll do that. And then my potions is fine jelly I want to keep so I can make more potions 
Man, I just looked over to the time and we're coming up on an hour here. I usually do these uh, videos for about a half, but I guess we just got kind of wrapped up in this, so let's see. Ooh, I was scared there for a moment. This is a new one for me. They are like moths, like moths of the flame, I tell you. These adventurers, so many attracted to the dungeons, so many to only feel the burn. Luckily, if you pass out in the dungeon from exhaustion or pain, it splits, it spits you out eventually. It's a messy ordeal, no one really knows what happens, but one eventually wakes up outside the dungeon with only small traces of slime nearby and, well, any injuries they may have accumulated inside. Yes, some have left the dungeons to never return, but plenty have stuck it out. Many enjoy the thrills of the fight. Many looking for that big payday. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> there really is so much more to these dungeons though. Okay. Alright, so we've explored up until there. So I'm kind of glad that I haven't encountered uh, a boss which would destroy me right now. And all this loot. Let me let me leave. I think I'm gonna leave. I get this sick feeling like I'm not gonna escape. And I think I'm gonna end the video as well. Let's sell some of this stuff. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we have enough money and enough material to uh, get another item. And then we're gonna call it quits, guys. If you enjoyed this video at all continue watching moonlighter um it's not really an official pl playthrough but just uh, a time to like i said chill and to just chat it up a little bit sometimes you just need to do that Fabric here and collect five. Can we collect six? No, it's gotta be five. I guess for five a piece is fine. Plenty of these as well. Okay, let's go save it and let's go open the shop. I could open it at nighttime as well. I don't know, I just wanted to save it just to make sure. Let's look at it for a second. Is there anything here that I need to transfer over? Five. Okay, that's good to know. Put another five in there. Bring these two out because I'm going to sell them. Stack that on that. And what is this? Water spheres. These are popular. Five of those got five jellies. I think I'm good for now. All right, so everything here is good to go to sell. Okay, so I can put that on the table as soon as I get rid of this merchandise. Guys, like I was saying before, if you just want to hang out and just find a channel that's just chill kick back relax i'm a variety gamer so that means i might be playing this for a while and then switch over to something else for me it's all about the fun not playing the most popular or the most latest and greatest uh, according to the critics uh, but just you know whatever i like to play and i just invite you to come and chill hang out relax and, uh, you know, if you want to get even more involved, you can look up Drama Free Gaming 
on Discord. And uh, yeah. That'd be cool to have you. I know I'm thinking to myself here like... Uh, just did the invitation to Discord. I'll have to put that link, hopefully if I remember, in the description. Um, but if I don't, you guys will remind me. Come on, they're in high demand. What are you talking about? And glasses is always something. Man, 980. I need... Oh, nice. Let's see. I can just close it up. And let's see if I can just go over and get me another item. Hopefully I have enough. Yes, I can get my chest plate. Let's do that. What else is here? Chest plate. I haven't selected boots either, but I guess I can do that here in a moment. Let's get the chest plate. Yeah, the next thing is definitely going to be... Ooh, look at that be some boots 15 and 4 20 and 25 I don't like the negative on the speed but I can do uh, 20 because I got enough speed or 15 yeah, I can do this one add it to my wish list let's do that Let's open this up and let's equip this bad boy. Oh, I got a nice sense of accomplishment now. Nice. My little tune is looking a little bit more buff now. Okay, so we're gonna get some boots. Try to upgrade with an enchantment that spear because I think that's my go to weapon up until now. And can we sell the rest of this stuff? Why not? Let's try to go sell it before we call it a night here. Guys, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. If you help me get to 100 subscribers, I can slap Drama Free Gaming at the end of YouTube.com. That would be my own customized, personalized URL. And I know it'll happen when it happens. Oh, I gotta go to sleep and then open it at daytime because no one goes shopping at night. <laughs> Except me. Part of the game, if you haven't seen other uh, gameplay on this or my gameplay on this, part of this game also is upgrading your shop and uh, the town as well and bringing in other merchants. So that's another element of the game that's pretty cool. But today we got something accomplished, little by little. Here we go. Gotta make all this money back. Let's go. Nothing else to sell. Golem volume. I'm gonna put it out. Let me see. Put it like at 200, 250. Why not? Somebody's gonna come in and why? Watch it be like a steal. Someone's eyes are gonna light up. They're gonna be like 250. That's a steal. Come on. Look at that. Holy moly. 250 is a steal. Man. I wonder how much I uh, underpriced it. Yeah, these I'm gonna keep. I'll make some more potions with that. And then I know I needed 
these empowering crystals for something like glow shop. All right, guys, I'm going to end it there. Uh, don't want to take it over an hour, but I appreciate you hanging out with me. Appreciate you being here. Uh, as always, I tell you to be good, be kind to one another, and keep it drama-free. Later.